Hey everyone, my name is Zara. Welcome to today's class. I'm going to guide you through a couple of um, breathing exercises and some sun salutations today. So a little bit of a Hatha flow breathing class combination. Something to energize the body, calm the mind and get, um, get the body awake. Let's just start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And a big sigh out through the mouth. Lifting your shoulders up to your ears. Big breath in. And a big sigh out, relax the shoulders down. One more time, inhale. Completely emptying the lungs. Nice. Let's just take the arms out to the sides, reach through the fingertips, interlace the fingers and press the palms up towards the sky. And just walk your shoulders up towards the ears, feeling that space around the sides of the body. And then let your shoulder blades draw back down the back. Nice. Feel that natural length of the spine, that natural curve of the lower back. And take five rounds of breath in and out through the nose. Feeling that breath move in through the nostrils, into the back of the throat and into the bottom of the lungs. And fully emptying as you exhale. Nice. Let's take the hands back behind us, interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms together and then lift the chest up towards the sky. Start moving your hands further away from the lower back. Inhale, lifting the chest, lift the gaze. And exhale, draw your hands a little further away from the body. Inhale, breathing from the belly up into the chest. And exhale, taking your hands further back. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Nice, let's slowly take the arms back up towards the sky. And then exhale, slowly reach forward, keep your bottom on the floor, reach forward, extend through the spine from the lower back into the fingertips. And then release your head, relax your shoulders, your elbows, and just feel that natural folding forward, that space for the back of the body. Just take a few rounds of breath here. Breathing in and out through the nose like you normally do. Connecting the breath from your nose into the back of the throat and into your belly. Using the full capacity of the lungs to get the full potential of the body and the mind. Let's take one more round of breath, inhale. Exhale and slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Let's take the hands on the knees. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, draw the chin in, look down. Again, inhale, lift the sternum, lift the heart. Exhale, curve the back, look down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Feeling that space that you've created in the upper back, in the lower back, in the middle of the back. Feeling the whole thoracic region and that internal space. So just flip your hands around. We're going to come into some samavriti, some balanced breath, or also known as coherent breathing. So we're going to simply just breathe in for a count of five or six 
whatever feels better for you and then exhaling for the same amount of time, five or six. So choosing what feels good for you. Remember to take that full yogic breath, breathing from the belly all the way into the rib cage and up into the chest and breathing down from the chest into the rib cage and the belly then relaxes. Okay, so maybe closing the eyes, bringing your awareness inside, feeling the body open, the body relax. And just bringing all your awareness to your breath. You're breathing in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, nice smooth breath in from the belly up into the chest, four, five, six, and then exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, take a few more rounds on your own. Breathing from the belly up into the chest, and from the chest back down to the belly. One more round. And then return to your natural breath. Keeping the eyes closed, just take some time to feel the effects of the practice. Feel the effects on the body and on the mind. Feel the presence of your breath. Nice. Slowly opening the eyes. We'll take a little energizing uh, cleansing practice, a Kundalini Kriya. We're going to take our hands on our shoulders, our elbows out to the sides, giving us that space across the chest. Uh, we're going to move towards the uh, left side, and when we do, we inhale. So we inhale through the nose, and as we move over towards the right, we exhale through the nose. Okay, so keep the elbows out. Try to keep the eyes closed, otherwise you might feel a little bit dizzy. Um, and we'll just move from left to right. Inhale left, exhale right. Okay, moving that energy up from the base of the spine, moving the energy up through the body. Okay, so let's go. We inhale left. Good, keep going for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. 
six, five, four, three, and two, and one, well done. And then just release your hands, keep your eyes closed. Feel the effects of the practice. Take time to let it integrate. Come back to your natural breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, slowly opening the eyes. Let's take the front leg, whichever one it is, back behind. So the opposite leg is in front. Let's take our arms up, inhale, reaching out to the sides. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up. Nice, relax your shoulders away from the ears and let's stay here again for five rounds of breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe incorporating a little ujjayi breath, a little snoring sound in the back of the throat, connecting that breath from the nostrils into the back of the throat and acting as a filter to let the breath out more controlled. If you're using ujjayi breath, you hear the sound of your exhalation. Take two more rounds. and then release the hands, reach forward through the fingers, release your hands down onto the floor and relax your head. Let the weight of your head open you up through the upper back as your shoulders release, your bottom is planted to the floor. Exhale, cleaning out, clearing out, sweeping the body of any unnecessary stagnant energy. Nice, making space. Let's slowly roll up. Nice, again, take the hands on the knees, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. One more time, inhale, exhale, nice. Let's uncross the legs, we'll come onto all fours, spread the fingers nice and wide. And make sure you're giving yourself that space between the fingers to create nice firm foundations. We're gonna curl the toes under, press back into the soles, into the balls of the feet giving some space for the metatarsals. And then let's gently push up into downward facing dog. Nice. Take some time here to pedal out the legs, get into your body, using the upper and lower half evenly. And if you feel a little bit tight in the hamstrings like I am today, then just soften the knees. Lift your tailbone a little higher, lift your pelvis and press down through the heels. Nice, from here let's inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet, exhale, bend the knees and lower them just to hover above the floor. Lift back up, inhale, and exhale, release the heels. Again, inhale, lift up, exhale, bend the knees and hover them towards the floor. Inhale, lift up, exhale, release. Nice. Walk your feet a little bit closer in. Tuck your navel in towards the spine. Melt your heart towards the thighs. Let's go one more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knees, hover them just above the floor. Inhale, lift up. 
And then exhale, drop down through the heels. Nice. We're going to look towards the hands and step the feet one by one to the top of the mats. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flatten the back, look up. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, belly towards the thighs. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Nice, let's just grab opposite elbows. And dangle here. Dangling down, allowing the weight of your head to open up the spine, creating space between the vertebrae. And just see how the body starts to open itself. Just hanging out here. Hanging out in this position. And just letting the body reveal itself to you. Take some conscious breaths here. Breathing into any parts of the body that need your attention. Maybe it's the backs of the legs right now. The glutes. Maybe the back feels tight. Send your breath wherever it needs to go. And then release your hands. Soften the knees. Let's roll up slowly one vertebra at a time. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Hmm. Okay, so we're coming to the top of the mat if you're not already. Let's take the toes together. A little space between the heels. We're going to take five sun salutations. No better way to warm up the body. Connect your breath with the movement. Grounding through the feet. Let's inhale, take the arms up and over. Exhale, folding forward, tuck your navel to the spine. Forehead to the shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands flat. Step. Or jump back into plank pose and just feel your body in a nice straight line, spreading through the fingers. You can drop your knees, exhale, chin, chest, hips, sliding through into upward facing dog. Nice. Maybe the tops of the feet are pressing into the floor. Make sure you're grounding through the hands. Lift the chest, shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, tuck your navel into the spine, push back into downward facing dog. Adjust your feet so you're distributing the weight evenly through the upper and lower half of the body. Let's stay here for three rounds of breath. Nice, look towards the hands. Come up onto the tippy toes, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms, lifting to stand. Exhale, samasthiti. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga. You can drop your knees if you need to. Inhale, urva mukhashvanasana, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for three rounds of breath. Looking towards the hands, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, circle the arms, lifting to stand, exhale, samasthiti, and again, inhale, and exhale, fold, one breath, one movement, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step, or jump back, lower down, chaturanga. Check your hands, the glute into place, move back into downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. One. Two. Three, looking towards the hands. Step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, hands come into Samasthiti. Again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Nice one. Look forward. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Circle the arms, lifting to stand. Exhale, samastiti. Pressing the feet through the floor, nice and strong through the thighs. Let's go one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down facing dog. Nice guys, feeling a little warmer now, feeling that energy moving through the body, staying connected to your breath. One, two, drawing your pelvis up, draw your tailbone towards the sky. Feel that length down through the backs of the legs, soften your knees if you need to. Nice, from here let's take the right leg up towards the sky, kick it up slowly to keep that right hip in line with the left. Kicking up as much as you can, then bend the right knee, drop the right heel towards the left hip. Nice. Feel that extension, that space between the left and the right side. And then we're going to step the right foot in between the hands. Nice. From here, let's drop the left knee to the floor. We're going to press back into the right heel. Inhale. Exhale, right foot. Inhale. Keep drawing your right hip back. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Mm -hmm. And from here, staying grounded through that right foot, let's push through the floor, lift the arms up and over. Take your arms, line them up with the ears to take it into a gentle back bend. Let's stay here for three rounds of breath. Nice, and then slowly releasing the hands. Let's take left hand onto the floor, right hand. Gently press the right knee out to the side. Your right foot can peel off the floor. And just look up towards that right shoulder. If you feel more space here, then reach your right hand up towards the sky. And if you want to incorporate your left leg, start to bend the left foot. Take your right hand back around. See if you can grab the foot and move it towards the left glute. Holding here for three rounds of breath, whichever position feels good for you. Nice, slowly releasing that left foot. Taking the right hand outside of the right foot, let's curl the left toes under, push back into down and facing dog. Check in with left and right side, grounding through the hands. Let's slowly kick the left leg up towards the sky. No rush, take your time, keep that integrity in the hips. And then we bend the left knee, take the left heel over towards the right hip. Mm, feel that space, left knee reaching up towards the sky, right hip pressing down towards the floor. And then step that left foot in between the hands. Nice. Let's release the right knee to the ground. And then press back into the left heel. Inhale. Exhale, come into the left foot. Again, inhale. Press into the left heel. Toes up. Exhale. Left foot. One more time. Keeping that left hip drawing back. Right hip draws forward. The inner thighs 
are facing each other. And then exhale, back onto the left foot. Nice. And then we take the arms up, grounding through the left foot. We take the arms up and over. Taking them as far back as feels good for you today. You're grounded through the lower half, light and buoyant through the upper half. Lift the chest. Two. Three, nice. And then slowly take that right hand down. Left hand, gently pressing the left knee out to the side. Take a twist, feel the shoulders stretching apart. Extend your left arm towards the sky. And if you want to bring that right leg into it, then bend the knee, maybe windowing your left arm back to grab the right foot, move it towards the body. One, two, three, very nice, slowly release. Let's take that left hand back down. Step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Dropping the knees or bringing the whole body down, chin, chest, hips. Udva Mukha Svanasana. And downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. We're going to release the knees down to the floor. Come to sit down. Right leg comes over the left thigh. So right leg comes over the left thigh, left knee bent. If you feel like your sit bones are not grounding both of them into the mat, then just extend your left leg forward. We're finishing with a spinal twist. Find your position. Right foot is flat on the ground. Your spine is long. Let's take the right hand back behind. Left elbow hooks to the outside of the right knee. And we slowly, from the ground up, we're lengthening up through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more round, inhale. Exhale. Nice. Twisting in the opposite direction. And taking a little bow down towards the floor. Lifting up, let's swap sides. <laughs> Extending the right leg forward, left leg comes over the right thigh. We can bend the right knee or keep it extended. Make sure that you have an even amount of weight through both sides of the body. Left foot is flat on the floor. You can take some adjusting, take some time to feel comfortable in pose. Take your time. When you're ready, left hand Back behind you, lining up with your spine. Right elbow hooks to the outside of the left knee. Sit tall, lengthen from the ground up. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Last time, inhale from the base of the spine to the crown of the head, exhale. Yes, and then slowly twisting in the opposite direction. Nice, let's take the hands to the outside of the right thigh, bow down. Inhale, lift back up. Yes. Coming into a simple cross-legged position to finish our practice. Closing down the eyes. Taking some deep, natural breaths. And we'll 
we'll take our hands together, resting your thumbs on the heart center, finishing with one round of Om, opening your mouth, using your own sound, allowing the sound to move through the body. Let's take an inhale and an exhale to prepare. Inhale for Om. of your breath. Namaste. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, click on the video and leave your comments below. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste. All the best.